once the features of the stream network appear, uh, we can turn off the other inputs or the other um, intermediary files that we created in this process. And uh, you can change the, the size and color of the symbol to highlight the stream network. Okay, So this is the stream network and you can see that there is there are a couple of pieces to this. So this this middle part is all of that contributes to um, the Lake Las Vegas and then Lake Mead through this path. But there are, there are, there are these other streams on the other faces of the uh, the region or the mountains. And similarly on this side, uh, this is Mount Charleston. So on the west southwest side of the Mount Charleston, there is a different stream network. And all of these have been identified in the in the process. So the next question is: So we have the stream stream network. What is the watershed that contributes um, through this city to Lake Mead? And if you zoom in over the this part of the region, you can see that the all of these streams converge and they go to Lake Las Vegas, and from there it goes to Lake Mead. And let's say we are interested in finding what is the watershed that contributes to this point. So for that purpose, we need to create a poor point file, which is basically a file that says this is the point of interest for which I want to make a watershed. So I haven't provided you with a poor point because I would like you to create your own poor point file. So start a new feature class, and it will be a, po a point type feature class and call it poor point um, Lake, Al Lake Las Vegas, for example. And then pick everything default, and this should automatically add this to our um, table of contents. So now it has uh, created the empty feature class and I'm not going to show you the whole process but go ahead and start the editor and add a poor point at this uh, at close to the Lake Las Vegas and make sure you snap the poor point on top of the stream. So I have created a poor point um, on the stream that feeds Lake Las Vegas and I have changed the symbol size so you can see it clearly it is snapped on the stream now we can find out what is the watershed that contributes to this point and for that we go back to the hydrology toolbox and there is a tool called watershed start that tool and its input is going to be all of the stuff that we have created so far which includes a pore point and the stream network so for the input, give it the input flow direction raster, which is FDIR. Then the pore point, which is pore point lake LV. And um, everything else can stay the same. Give the output name for this. Let's call this watershed LV. So as it creates this watershed it's going to be a raster image and we want to make sure that the the processing of this um, happens at the same resolution and at the same pixel uh, extent, uh, same resolution ex and extent as for our input data. So go to environment settings and the processing extent and here the extent should be same as the flow direction and we want to snap all the pixels to flow direction as well. Click OK and click OK again. And this may take a while. I will show you the output in the next video.